Hi, in this video, I would like to take the opportunity to talk to you about why I think learning about information technology is one of the best investments that you can make in your future. You see, IT underlines many of the changes that is defining that very future. And what better way to learn about it than to experience it firsthand in one of the world's most vibrant and dynamic cities, Shanghai. My name is Enric, and I'm an assistant professor in information systems and business analytics at New York University, Shanghai. In order to understand the evolution of IT, it is instructive to look at the financial footprint that it leaves behind. While China was one of the first countries to introduce paper money in the 9th century, we now see that it is increasingly leaving behind its own invention. In 2017, 74% of the fast food payments in China were made via mobile payment technology. You can basically pay for anything using your phone here, ranging from these wooden chaoshi or unmanned stores to small individually owned fast food stands, or even one of the many solo operated karaoke booths. You name it and you can pay for it using mobile tech. All of this combined to a total of over 1 trillion US dollars being transferred using mobile payment tech every month already. And you know, this number is very likely to be completely outdated by the time this video comes out. The impact of information technology is not just limited to mobile payment technology. Though. It has by now unquestionably altered all sorts of facets of society, including how we communicate, how we date, how we form relationships, how we revolt against oppressors, and of course also the way in which we conduct business. In fact, the changes are so substantial and so significant that just like the introduction of new manufacturing processes in the late 18th century completely overhauled society in what we now call the Industrial Revolution, just like that, we now find ourselves amidst a major turning point in history called the Information Revolution. And yet again, we are seeing that the societal structures are being overthrown and transformed at an increasingly hurried pace. With the rapid emergence of a new type of civilization comes a need for a generation of brilliant business professionals. These leaders, if you will, of digital technology need not only have great business acumen, but also a deep fundamental understanding of the potential impact and disruptive nature of upcoming technologies. So how can future professionals make sense of this new and constantly changing reality? How should they face seemingly complex innovations with confidence rather than fear? Which skills ought they to learn in order to stay relevant? And is all of this even possible? We are now entering NYU Shanghai's data center, which holds the key to our earlier question. You see, with every new technology comes a new data source, a new type of consumption pattern. Consider, for instance, the fact that in the past year only, we've been generating more data than the entire previous history of the human race. It has been projected that by 2020, we will be generating 1.7 megabytes of data per person, per second. It has by now become clear that the right approach to understanding many innovations in IT lies not so much in technology and its engineering, which is generally too diverse and complex to be learning about anyway, unless you're, you know, actually an engineer. Rather, as business professionals, we ought to focus on the I, the information. We need to think about how these new technologies change data consumption patterns, how they change our organization's information capabilities, what value the actual information then brings to our business, and eventually whether or not we can easily unlock that value. Now, answering these questions requires a certain way of thinking, and the good news is that you can actually learn that. And once you master it, you'll be able to easily realize the potential competitive advantage of tech and whether or not it aligns well with your business's objectives. This is, by the way, where advancements in machine learning, HEI, data science, business analytics, and all these trendy words become important as well. Other C Cloud once wrote that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. But it is my belief that with proper training in IT, you too can become one of those future business leaders who is able to look beyond the veil cast by complex technology upon the brave new world that we are to become. 